What's up guys, it's Jeff with I Download Blog. Here is my iPhone 4S. I'm gonna show you how to jailbreak it with Absinthe, a new tool released by the Chronic Dev team. You can see this is definitely a 4S. I do have it plugged into my computer, so go ahead and plug it in with your USB cable into your Mac. This is for the Mac. I'll show you a Windows tutorial a little bit later. Uh, once you have it plugged in, you wanna head over to your computer, download the Absinthe app. Again, you can find it on I Download Blog. It is a, um, a release by the Chronic Dev team with helps from help from a lot of different players including uh, Pod2G and various others a lot of people played into the creation of this jailbreak app and it's quite a bit different from what you may be used to there's no DFU mode or anything to speak of I'm going to show you exactly what to do just open up Absinthe double click on it it should detect your iPhone 4S as it's done here and then click jailbreak it's going to connect to the device it's going to begin the jailbreak now this is very time consuming it does take probably about 15 minutes to complete the jailbreak at least in, in my instance it took a while so just be patient. It, it's not locking up or anything. It's just going to take a while on this little blue loading screen. And eventually you should see something look like this. You should see that little loading icon in the status bar. See that? You should see that as the jailbreak proceeds. So just watch out for that. If that's moving, then chances are you're good to go. So uh, just don't worry about it. Just relax and you'll see it. I'm going to speed things up about eight times over here. You can see it sped up the loading bar. Uh, and this takes a while, like I was saying. So just be patient. You will need iOS 5.0 or 5.01 on your iPhone 4S. And you can see it's sending the initial data. Your device will now be appearing to restore from a backup. So this also may take a while. Um, like I said, it's much different than jailbreaks in the past. You'll see it in restore in progress. That is the backup. It appears to be doing a backup, but it's actually getting all the the key factors into place to to uh, complete the jailbreak so just be patient on here you'll see the restoral uh, see the little battery icon fill up and you should see the restore and then your screen should look like this sending initial data still restoring uh, so just again be patient this does take a while now you should see waiting for reboot not done yet do not unplug your device never unplug your device until this is completely done then you will see something that looks like this it'll reboot and you should be back in your apple logo and then you'll see some more loading for the apple logo so it should be back at your lock screen now don't unlock it or anything yet just continue to wait and uh, you'll see it sending the payload this may take a while do not touch your device yet even though it's back at the lock screen just leave it alone for now this is um, going to send over all the, the payload for the jailbreak to your iPhone 4S. This also works with the iPad 2 as well. Um, so this will take quite a while to complete. Now again, you should see your lock screen. You'll see a message that says almost done. Now that you're at your lock screen and it says almost done, follow these directions, unlock your device if necessary, then tap the jailbreak icon to finish. It may be on a different home screen, so don't give up looking. So now we can unlock our device and try to find the absinthe little jailbreak icon. There it is. So all you need to do is load that icon. Just tap that icon and load it up. Um, if it doesn't load, it may give you a connection error. Just keep trying. And eventually, once it does complete um, the loading process for that, it should load up the Green Poison blog, and then you should see your device reboot here. It'll actually turn black. Um, so give it a few seconds, and then you should see the device complete, and it'll actually go black. So in about a few seconds there. Okay, now you should see the screen go black, just like we stated. And this will re perform another reboot, and you'll see some loading icons for your Apple logo, things like that. The thing, good thing about this jailbreak is that really not a lot of end-user intervention is in required like the old jailbreaks. True, it is a little more time-consuming, but it's pretty much just automated completely. I mean, you just tap jailbreak on the screen. There's no DFU mode to speak of or anything like that, and then you just let it do its thing. So it's a pretty simple jailbreak, but it's quite a bit different from what ones who have been jailbreaking for a long time may be used to so that way it could be a little confusing if you're expecting something to be one way and it's completely different then no doubt it could be a little confusing but just hang in there and literally it's this easy you just click jailbreak and pretty much wait until everything is done um, so we should be up momentarily here back to our lock screen we'll just wait on that and in a few seconds you should see the lock screen it's just gonna hold right here this little loading it hasn't locked up or anything so don't worry about it 
There we go. So now we're back at our lock screen. Now we should actually see the Cydia logo on our desktop. So let's head over and unlock our device and check our home screen rather. And then we'll see the Cydia logo here. There it is. It's been a long, long time coming, but it is finally here. The iPhone 4S and iPad 2 A5 untethered jailbreak is here, and I am running Cydia. As you can see right there, you see my SH, SH blobs. I'm running Cydia on my iPhone 4S. What do you guys think about that one? Well, I hope this tutorial was easy to follow. It should be pretty easy to follow. Literally, you just click jailbreak and just watch the tutorial if you have any questions or concerns. We'll be back with more tutorials for Absinthe and all the jailbreak goodness for the iPhone 4S and iPad 2. You should see this screen at the end. You can just close that out. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlock.